Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. On July 9th, Treyarch are going to be showing us Call of Duty Black Ops 3's Zombies Mode, or Modes, more on that in a second, at San Diego Comic Con. Activision have actually given us some new information about the day. They say that Treyarch will reveal the much anticipated mode in a panel, which we've already talked about before, featuring the studio's Zombies director, Jason Blundell, and lead writer, Craig Houston. I'm sure you guys know who Jason Blundell is already. If you need a refresher, he's the guy that talks about the giant robots in the original Origins reveal. Yeah, that guy. Craig Houston might be a slightly less familiar name, but I mean, he actually was the lead writer on projects like Call of Duty Black Ops, the original, so I think we're going to be in safe hands there. Activision goes on to say that people attending the conference will get a look at the Zombies reveal trailer, the mode's star-studded cast, and the official announcement of the Black Ops 3 Collector's Editions. Nothing new there. In addition to the panel, though, anyone in the San Diego area will get a real-life taste of the Black Ops Zombies experience in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Escape Room Challenge. I'll hereafter refer to it as the ERC. It sounds really interesting, honestly. It tasks a group of survivors with solving a series of puzzles in order to escape a locked room before time runs out. If you want to attend, details will be in the description, but I want to talk about the ERC as a concept not only for real life, but also for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies experience we're expecting on disc. Currently, we know so little about Black Ops 3 Zombies. We don't know how many maps there are going to be on disc. We can speculate, but it's speculation and nothing more. We can talk about things like the game modes or mode that will be on disc, but again, we have no information to go by until maybe now. What if they decided, and I think that this would actually be a really cool idea, what if they decided to, on the disc, have the regular zombies experience? Because that's what we've heard they are planning, but they're giving it a distinct twist with things like the XP progression system and stuff like that. So I'm expecting the normal mode to still be there, but what if on top of that, like we sort of had with Black Ops 2's custom games, we, with Black Ops 3, had an ERC mode. In my opinion, this just sounds so damn fun. I mean, in real life, it sounds great as well. You're with a group of other people, and you have to solve a series of puzzles, just like an easter egg, before the clock runs out. In itself, that is a super cool idea for them to do, but what if this is a hint about what we can expect to see potentially in the Zombies reveal on July 9th, or maybe even a hint of what is going to be in the game when it eventually comes out in November? Put it this way, in Black Ops 2, there were modes like Grief, which I really enjoyed but didn't actually play much of, and Turned, which I hardly played at all. And those sorts of things are really good to see tried, but I'd like to see them tried and executed very well. And that is what this has the potential to do, really, in my opinion. I feel like if they put sufficient amounts of time and manpower into this, the ERC mode could just be like a constant source of easter eggs. It's almost like if you think about something like Bloodborne, where you have these challenge dungeons where you go in, it's not related to the main game in any real meaningful way, it's not related to the story per se, so these challenge dungeons or challenge maps or the ERC maps wouldn't necessarily have to be tied to the zombies storyline or to the main zombies campaign that they're planning to bring us, but they could still be maps in which you have essentially an easter egg to solve, a puzzle. That's what easter eggs are at the end of the day. They're these weird twisted puzzles that the player has to find a solution for to achieve some goal or reward or whatever, to basically get to something. But the idea with a challenge map is that you're doing it maybe to see how fast you can do it in a certain amount of time. What if they even make it so that these are randomly generated, and so you end up in a room, and it literally is a test of how fast you can process that information and solve the egg, essentially. I think that, I mean, I'm, okay, let's, let's just slow things down a bit. I am getting a little carried away here, but it's because I think that this is so cool an idea, and I would love for it to be a thing, and it would so, it would completely change what we think about Call of Duty Zombies, because you'd have this main mode, which we all love, and it's going to be great, no doubt, and that's all fine and dandy, and we'll have our star-studded cast, and we'll have our XP progression system, but what if another entire facet to the Zombies experience are these challenge maps? You could get XP from those as well. That could help you level your character, or characters, or whatever the system ends up actually being. I feel like it would just be so much fun. Leave a like if you agree. I think there's a lot of potential here. 
And if we can get some discussion in the comments about it, let's build some ideas up and who knows, maybe they'll end up in the final game. I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed the video. As always, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.